Okay, hello everyone. Um, if you've been following my second channel, um, you would know that I've just been in Japan for two weeks and I've been back for over a week, but um, I thought I should film a quick video just to let you guys know that I'm alive and I'll be doing tutorials soon and also I wanted to do a bit of a haul, I suppose you could call it, but I'd prefer to call it a kind of show and tell of some of the stuff that I got in Japan. I have a few bottles of nail polish, um, just like really cheap ones that I thought I'd buy since they're in such cute bottles and everything and um, you can get, I just got these from like, Japanese versions of dollar shops and they call them Hyakuen stores. Um, yeah, and I got a, a few cu really cute colours. Um, it sucked because when I was in Japan I hardly got any time for doing nails so most of the time my nails were really really horrible looking so I'm glad now that I'm back I actually have a chance to take care of my nails. I really love this colour, it's like a um, metallic charcoal grey kind of colour and I've been meaning to get a colour like this for a while. And these are all really good. I got all of these for just a dollar, so. This one's cool too. It has a special brush that lets you do really easy French tips. Because it's like a curved brush like that. And then I got some sparkly things for nails. These are just like little round sequins. I haven't taken this one out of its packet yet. And then I also got this because I think it's really cute and I love pink and blue together. It's like, it's a little hand and nail cream, see? And it's called Juicy Fruity. And um, it's like peach scented. And then, this is probably my favourite thing that I got. Um, okay. Nail Venus. It's a nail art magazine. Um, it has really cool designs in it. Um, this will provide inspiration for me for a long time. It has like so many pages like this with just heaps and heaps of cute designs and, and then it has some pages that um, it actually tells you how to do it like in a step-by-step -step kind of way. Yeah, it has um, themed pages so this page is like, this page is flower and then um, dark red. So yeah, there's lots of different um, designs in here and I should get really good value out of this. See that these are some really cool animal print ones. Yeah, um, I went into a Japanese bookstore and they have just like a whole section just of nail art magazines and I was in heaven and actually um, my host sister bought this for me because I said I liked it so she bought it for me. Um, yeah, because the first week in Japan I did a homestay where I stayed with like a Japanese family and my host sister was really cool. She just bought me all this stuff. She was awesome. Okay, and then this is probably my favourite nail polish that I got in Japan, even though it's not really, um, it doesn't look really that great, but, um, it's a Hello Kitty nail polish. And I got this from the Sanrio store. The Sanrio store is amazing, I'll include a picture right now. And yeah, as you can see, everything's just all pink and cute and girly and fun. And I probably spent too much money there, but um, it was good fun. Okay, so that was the end of the nail art portion. So if you're not interested in anything other than nail art, you can probably just tune out now. So bye-bye. And now I'll just show you a few of the things I got from the Sanrio shop. Okay, first of all, I absolutely love this. It's this really adorable um, bow headband with Hello Kitty on it. And... I have a little Hello Kitty dressed up as a rabbit um, dangly thing. It's like it looks like a hair tie, but it's um, you just attach it to like the handle of your bag or something. And like most Japanese students would have like a little carry bag that they take to school, and they'd have something cute like a tie attached to the handle. And um, me and my host sister, we got little matching ones, so it's kind of a kind of special. And then this little notebook was a present from my host parents, who were absolutely lovely. And, um, yeah, it's just a cute little Sanrio um, Hello Kitty notebook. And it comes with stickers that just fell out. So, yeah, that's really cute, and it was a really good present. And now I have a few things that aren't from the Sanrio store, but are still Hello Kitty. Um, this is a really cute Hello Kitty key ring I got, and it's like... Um, 
Angel and Devil Hello Kitty. And I got this as a gift from one of the students at the school that I was on exchange at um, on my last day. So that's kind of special as well and I just think it's really, really cute. Um, and then this one's pretty cool too. Um, we went to this arcade thing called Round One and on your way out you get like free little Hello Kitty um, diamond -y dangly things and it actually has like a bowling pin as well and it says Round One X Hello Kitty. It's really cool. In Japan they just have all this, um, like Hello Kitty is a bit of a mascot, like the school that I went to, um, when we left, uh, they gave us these towels that have Hello Kitty in the school uniform, like, at the school, so there's all this really cool, um, personalised Hello Kitty stuff. This is, like, a good luck thing that I got at a temple with my host family. Oh, and I almost forgot, um, this is, like, a Hello Kitty, uh, mechanical pencil, like, you know, those pencils that you can, like, click out, um, yeah, it's like Hello Kitty crossed with Alice in Wonderland, so it's like white rabbit style. And it has a cute little pearl on top, and I just think it's really cute. And um, this was another present from my host sister. It's a little Hello Kitty pencil case. Oh, and I got some really cute, really cheap rings as well. Um, this is like a pink gingham bow ring with like a little diamond -y. I think that's really cute because I just love wearing bows on my fingers because half the time it like goes well with my nails. See that one like matches my nail colour at the moment. And I also got a leopard print one. And... This really cute um, pearl, pearl one with like a little gold band in the middle. Okay, um, one of the things that's really popular in Japan is hair fragrance. So it's like basically just like a little deodorant for your hair and you just kind of spray it. And this one smells like really fresh. It gives you that um, like real shampoo-y kind of smell like that doesn't normally stay in your hair but it, um, it lasts like all day. And that's like a Shiseido brand. Yeah, Shiseido. And they're all in really cute... Um, cute cans. Like, I, I didn't even smell this before I bought it. I just loved the can, so I bought it, and I don't regret it, because it's, like, really cute, and it smells good, and I love it. Okay, yeah, so I thought I'd just make this video so that you knew that I wasn't giving up on the whole YouTube thing, and I'll still be making tutorials, and I'll probably do one soon, and I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got, because I promised that I'd do some sort of video about Japan, and, um, I have some video footage, but it includes other people that I don't know if they'd be happy about me putting them on YouTube, so I have a few bits of footage that doesn't have any other people, so if you want to see that, you could comment below. Like, I have some footage from a Dharma factory, which is like a factory that makes these little, um, these dolls, and it's like a traditional Japanese thing, and I have some footage from Hiroshima Peace Park, and... And yeah, just a few other things like that. So, if you, I, I didn't know whether you'd be interested or not, but if you are, just comment below because I won't know to show you if I don't know if you're interested. So, yeah, just do that. And also, I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to vlog while I was in Japan because I didn't get any time at all. Like, I was constantly just always doing things. I barely got any time to think. Like, I didn't even get time to write my travel journal. I had to do that all on the plane back. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little show and tell. Um, I'm glad to be back and I'll see you guys soon with the tutorial. So, bye.